Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day around the world. It is my day two here in the beautiful city of Barcelona. Um, my jet lag was like insane. If you watch my videos from, I guess, yesterday for today, I'm so confused in the times. But, girl, I went to bed. I want to say like three, four in the morning. I woke up like almost at 1 p.m. I mean, the whole thing was a mess, but you know what? We're on vacation, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> uh, girl, I'm walking right now. I'm going to the beach because I'm not gonna do any of the touristy things until my grandmother arrives here in a couple days. So I'm just walking around, see? Like trying to get to know the city <clears throat> in a different way. And I forgot how much Europeans love to walk and that everything is like walking here. Girl, it's insane. Plus, the rooms doesn't have AC. So, girl, talk about uh, being Americanized. I'm dying a little bit, but you know what? Let's enjoy the process. All right, guys, so I have to walk like 14 minutes all the way to the beach. So I was like, let's just do a video um, about some information that it is out there, you know, and it's all related to the Real Housewife of New Jersey, you know. Um, so basically, there is this blind item going around, which let's be honest, is not so much of a, bl of a blind item because we know who they're talking about. And, and what it's kind of like their future looks like. So the blank item basically says something like, oh, this couple with this housewife from the East Coast, uh, apparently they rely uh, solely on what the housewife was making on the show. And now that that seems to no longer be a possibility moving forward, um, their world is about to collapse because they are very financially irresponsible and uh, they have been, they are being sued left and right by a bunch of people and like the whole thing is going to like really collapse. Like, like I don't even know if they're going to be able to finish their new house uh, once all of this happens, you know? So I think this is interesting. Because, of course, they're talking about Melissa Gorga and Joe Gorga. Uh, you know the rumors everywhere that this is going to be their last season, that Teresa doesn't want anything to do with them. <sighs> she's pretty much done with the whole situation and that she just wants to move, like, move on, but she's not going to... Of course, Teresa is never going to leave the show until she's ready to leave the show. So, um, she's basically, yeah, just like there. And... Um, but she doesn't want to film with, with Melissa anymore and she's done with, with Melissa and Joe like forever, you know? So there is a lot of rumors that even like the production company and everyone is just ready to kick Melissa to the curb. She hasn't really been offering any storylines for several years now. And um, well, their only storyline is really their feud, you know, their feud with Teresa. And even though Melissa did her best to manipulate Joe to really re-engage on a feud that, well, let's be honest, the feud was over, right? Um, they were kind of like back to being a family. They were really okay. Uh, even after Joe Judas was deported, you know, they kind of like, they were really okay. But I feel that, of course, Melissa had no storyline uh, lately, right? Uh, since her fake storyline about the fake sister <laughs> and, um, and I think she said like shit we just need to re-engage in this drama and to be very honest with you guys I think that Joe if he was by himself he will have never start a fight with Teresa again I think he actually loved Teresa a lot but Melissa constantly on his ear every single day you know he, he, she manipulated him. It, it was so, it is so obvious. But anyways, so now they did all of this uh, thing. And I think, you know, karma did his thing, you know, it's thing. So I think karma was like, oh, so you want to destroy a family? You want to destroy this uh, 
uh, sibling hood. <laughs> I don't know how the, how you guys say that. Uh, was like, okay, you you're gonna be. I'm gonna grant you that wish, but in exchange, um, you're gonna be out of the show. And now she doesn't know what to do. Okay, so also their financial situation it is not a secret even though they really try to pretend and pretend the lawsuits are out there you know they have been sued by a lot of people always uh, alleging that that you know they don't pay the contractors they don't pay the people that work for them uh, you know MB has also has like a bunch of alleged you know lawsuits so you cannot tell me that the whole world hates you and, and, and you are the poor victims in this whole situation, am I right? So I think that, yes, they, they, they were not smart enough. Um, I think that maybe the, even the oven situation of Pizzagate was a last attempt of them to try to create some wealth. But the worst part is that they didn't want to do any of the job, you know? I'm um, not on the job, but like they didn't want to put any of the money. So for them, it was like, oh, here is Louis, you know, with a bunch of money. Let him put all the money. I put a simple idea and then I'm just going to become um, rich, you know. Again, I guess karma did its thing over there as well, because uh, it was definitely not fair. Now, I don't know what is going to happen. Um... I don't know if you watched my exclusive tea that I gave you yesterday during my jet lag time, but um, I don't know. I have very mixed feelings. Like, I don't enjoy them that much anymore, and it's a shame because I used to love Joe Gorga, but I agree that if they are fire, um, that relationship with Teresa is, is going to be over for the rest of their lives you know like it's it's just not gonna get better and they're now they're gonna even if if their financial world collapse now they're never gonna forgive Teresa they're never gonna forgive Louis because of course they're gonna blame them so they're gonna say like you throw us out of the show so you know the whole thing was that actually Louis was working with production not working but like begging production to not fire Melissa and Joe Gorga you know uh, because he knows that if if this happens there will never it, it is going to be it for the relationship between Teresa and and Joe like a normal spouse will do you know not like Melissa is doing so anyways that's it that's the tea right now apparently their financial I mean it's going to be over the financial world of them. And yeah, let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this mess. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.